Welcome back. Um, in this video, I'm going to show how to create master files. Uh, these were gathered. I had a previous video surrounding you know, setting up a sequence to take library files. So this is now processing those library files. We jump across to my other machine. Um, what we have is these are darks, and there are 30 of each. 30 of each, and we stack those together. Bias, I go for about 100. As you can see, I've already done. Uh, the master bias and the dark. So, what I use is I have a a project that I have stored inside Pixinsight with all of my shortcuts. So this is the various stages that I normally use. These ones are generally just for just as backup. They would be a more manual process if you're not using the batch pre-processing -proce script. Uh, if we move across into the workspace, this is my linear processing. This would be my non-linear processing. I think these are just a couple of bits and bobs kicking about. So we'll go back to the pre-processing stage. And if I open up, I'll give you a quick look at master bias. Right. If anybody wants a copy of these, I can actually send the individual process icons by email. It would be no problem. I'm also going to put them up my new website once it becomes available in the next couple of months. So this is what we're looking at here. These are the various settings. Most of these uh, was gathered from reading on the internet and also a great book called Inside Picks Insight. I find it very, very helpful. So what we'll do here is, this is going to create a master dark. We'll go into our library files, and we will select all of our two minutes, bring them in, and we'll hit apply global. So this will start to process these. And I will pause the video now, and I will bring it back just towards the end and to show you what it comes out like. Okay, so we'll, we will pop back and have a look at how it's getting on. So it's nearly finished the last set of rows. So once this completes, it will pop up with the master dark image. Now this isn't saved anywhere at this point. This is just created. So if we give a wee auto stretch just to show you what it looks like inside, I've, I've unlinked the channels. So let's stretch it and see. So what we can see is if you look, it's just a wee bit heavier at the bottom there. So that's probably the read noise coming through. And we can see various sort of hot and cold pixels dotted about the place. So what we have to do now is we don't have to reset, but I like to anyway. And we save this off. And I'll just use the same naming conventions as I did previously. And that is it ready to use. I use 64-bit. And that is our library file created. Uh, there is some question about the necessity or the performance of library files in a DSLR, given that the temperature can vary wildly as we are mostly uncooled. Um, I tend to not worry about this too much. I use a lot of dithering in my guiding, so I hope that that combats it quite well. So I'm just going to turn away here and get stuck into the rest of these so that I can have them for some data I hope to collect tonight. Thanks for listening.